Ho ho! Leute! Uff! Welcome to the mountain town. Excuse me, I'm shaky, but the road is kind of rocky. I'm walking down uh, the mountain path, and I just want to show you guys the, you know, the whole. Uh, oi. <laughs> So, just get, want to show you guys the uh, air hole. Uh, what's the what's the living condition? These guys uh, live in. It's not so bad. Some of these guys are really really rich, despite how they uh, how they look. It's just that uh, it's just that uh, they have so much money, but they don't know where to spend it. They have no sense of like, oh, what am I gonna do with my money? You know, you know, they they the most they do is like, oh, I buy good, I buy great car, then get it, get mud all over it. <laughs> you often see like great, really great like Jeep or like Mercedes Benz or even Bentley or like, but it's covered in mud. So the most they have is they, they spend money buy a good car, then they get mud all over it and they don't they don't wash it. Um. They don't. I guess it's a good thing that they don't know how to spend the money. Otherwise, they'd be. This place would be a lot more corrupted, or corrupted by com. I mean, capitalism. Um. I was just in the uh, inner temple where they were having a big like um, the recital of the scripture, and you can't can't film over there but they uh, they let me sit with them drink with them and eat really really sour yak yogurt with them <laughs> really really sour yogurt with them see how dirty this road is yeah mostly poop if you want to travel in Tibet you gotta step on poop all the time Dried poop's not so bad. As long as it's not like dirty, dirty, muddy, wet poop. Hmm. Choose your footing carefully. Uh, we're going to this grandpa's house to check out his yak herd. Up close, personal. Um, what else is there to say? Kibetsky. Uh, running around upstairs, running around up on the temple, chase some. I did a bunch of filmings and pictures and picture taking with a bunch of uh, monks, big and small, a bunch of locos. If you want to see uh, my pictures, you can uh, check out my information uh, on the description below. Uh, they will be in the photo bucket website. Uh, this is the yucker. This is all the young, younger yaks and he's older. <laughs> and these are just his younger yaks. The older yaks are out grazing and they won't be back until sunset. Um, they go out on their own and they come back on their own. They're pretty intelligent animals. <laughs> Pissing. Slowly gain its trust.
These are just the smaller yucks. <coughs> Just hang out with yucks. Ew, slimy. Ew. Cow tongues on my pawns. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ew. I did yak herding back in old seven uh, in the mount in the mountain uh, village of Yabon way back then. It was four years ago. I had to herd entire yak herd to the river by myself. Ay, 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 ay. <laughs> really long tongues. <laughs> yeah, told the nearly tongues. So, uh, I realized my secondary job is taking pictures for people. Quite <laughs> No, it's urinating. I just like Tonga. Oh, it's a little bit. Oh, it's a little bit. Oh, it's a little bit. Oh, it's a little Yeah, apparently she loves the animal, but she's afraid of them. <laughs> she loves the animal, animal doesn't love her. Alright. We gotta walk our way down there. Here you can climb up. You can So we gotta walk all the way back to our hostel. Our new hostel, which I will make a video about in a bit. Uh, 
walking in a land full of yak pie. The weather is amazing. Except if you have some sort of lung problem, if you have smoked too much, and have some sort of like asthma, you probably should not come up here. Also, if heart problems, probably should not come up here. If you're like one of those really, really fat North Americans, yes, 40, you should probably not come up here. What are you fat American? And for those people who had uh, questions about um, yeah, I, I've read some posts on my uh, comments today about uh, my whereabouts and um, my plans and uh, how I'm uploading everything from in, on YouTube, onto YouTube from China. Um, I'm uploading everything onto YouTube by China, uh, from China by uh, putting them into my Dropbox and Michael McDonald, my uh, good friend Michael McDonald will upload everything uh, from his Dropbox. So my file goes into my Dropbox, comes out in his Dropbox, and he takes the file, upload them for me, and voila, that's how you bypass YouTube. Even though I could technically do the uploading myself, but it will take forever, and the uh, internet will, it will be choppy over here. I could use the hacker program to bypass the uh, Chinese blockade, but it will be still be very, very slow. It'll take like hours to upload a, sing a single video. Um, my word about is Li Tang, the highest town in the world. Or uh, at least in China, I don't know, I don't know about the world, but yeah, highest town. Uh, the other two is about 4,000 plus, 4,500 plus meter or something like that. Uh, really, really ridiculous. Yeah, you'll be walking around basically carrying 30 more kilo extra weight. 30, 30 more extra kilo, that's like carrying a very large baby. <laughs> carrying like an eight year old. A uh, 10 year old. 30 kilo, I don't know. 30 carrying like a really, really light girl, I guess. I don't know. So, every every couple of steps I take, I have to uh, take a deep breath and uh, try to catch my breath. The whole like breath, the scenery is breathtaking. Yeah, <laughs> it's actually breathtaking. I can't catch my breath. Uh, I guess I could, but. <laughs> I can't really run. I was trying to do like um, I was I was playing tag with a bunch of little monks, like five little monks, and I, I really can't outrun them. First, I'm pretty fat. Second, I can do like a sprint and I have to like <laughs> kneel down and catch my breath. These are like medium-sized yaks. These aren't even big yaks. They're like junior, teenager yaks. Busy with his business. Oh, so very busy with his with his business. Those those are regular cows down there. This is a really nice place to live in. Highest town in the world, my friends. Uh, wish you were here with me. Still two more months to go in China. I think the first two months was really boring. Nothing exciting happened. Except getting really drunk and puke all over the place. But the uh, the next one is gonna be really exciting because I have to play like play catch, play like catamounts with the police, the whole like <laughs> foreigner blockade band kind of thing. 
and also try to upload everything onto YouTube. Try to find an internet connection for my uh, visa, for my uh, school, and uh, just general brand new things that you usually do not see on YouTube. This is probably, I don't know, one of the very few videos you'll see.